like to point out the fact that you said too often people are afraid to contradict those in authority positions. Uh, and I just, you, you said it, you being a public defender, it taught you a lot about human nature. And then you talked about how so many of them, you know, really live a life of the ends justifying the means. I mean, do you feel like this is part of the issue with Americans today that we are just a little too afraid to contradict authority figures? Well, I think, you know, this has been a degrade degradation of our judicial system and our faith in law enforcement leadership over years, not just like overnight. And back in the day, I think we didn't question them because they were right. They, they told the truth. And then some would come in and lie and you caught some of them lying. And then it just got all the way up to things like Russiagate and Jan 6 and Hunter Biden's laptop and everything else, the 51 Intel letter. And you're like, wait a second, people who are the most senior officials in government at the FBI and DOJ lied to a federal judge just to get a federal warrant to illegally surveil their political opponent. I mean, that happened in the United States of America. So when that happens, you got to take a step back and not mock all of law enforcement or all the prosecutors or all the judges. But you got to call out the corrupt actors. And, and it's hard for people to do because those guys will target you when they do, just like Rod Rosenstein illegally surveilled me um, as a senior staffer in Congress. And that part's not in the book because we didn't find out about that illegal surveillance until five years after it happened. But I did file a federal lawsuit. I mean, they literally, Chris Ray and Rod Rosenstein, Devin Nunes and I sat them down during Russiagate in 7, 2017, something like that. <clears throat> And said, hey, help us figure this out. This happened before you. They doubled down, re-signed re the FISA warrant, and then actually sent out grand jury subpoenas for my personal information along with 10 other staffers. And we found out six months ago because Google told us, well, you can't take it lie down. We sued him in federal court. Rod Rosenstein and Chris Ray are going to be deposed by me. I don't care about the money. It's about getting this information out to the American public because, like you said, that's what happens when you call out authority figures. But you got to do it because... They've wrecked DOJ and the FBI, and we see what's going down in Georgia and everywhere else. You know, houses of worship, how dare you be Christian, how dare you be pro-life, and how dare you stand up for your child's rights in school and at school board meetings. The FBI is going to find you if you do. I mean, that's where we are. Those are the facts.